what have we got here? With Dr. Dave. What have we got here? Well, here we've got some pygmy perch. These are quite a special fish. Much rarer these days than they used to be. And we're going to talk to Luke Pierce, who can tell us all about them. Yeah, thanks Dave. Uh, pygmy perch are an extremely rare and uh, now listed as an endangered fish species. Uh, we've only got three populations left within New South Wales. One being in the Billabong catchment, which we're here in today. Uh, another one being in the Copperbella catchment, which is just over the hill. And the third one being in the Upper Lachlan catchment. This is an ideal spot for pygmy perch. This is a perfect habitat for them. You've got uh, beautiful water plants, lots of reeds and rushes around the edges and some beautiful uh, submerged water plants within, this, within the water body itself there that uh, pygmy perch really love. They really rely heavily on water plants. If you don't have water plants, you don't have pygmy perch. These guys live and breed in amongst the weeds and in amongst the water plants. There's actually a whole variety of native fish that you can find in the creeks, rivers and dams in this part of the world. There's a flat-headed gudgeon, the little tiny carp gudgeon, yellow belly, silver perch, and the big guy, the Murray cod. So Luke's told us about pygmy perch and how you only find them in areas where there's lots of water plants. Other fish have needs too, and hollow logs, branches, and snags in the water are really important for a whole range of our native fish. Hidey holes, and little nursery grounds where the babies can grow up safe and protected. Ask any fisherman and they'll tell you the best spot to catch a lot of our native fish is right next to some snags, right next to structure. So there's some really cool fish in the Murray-Darling Basin and one of the best ways of actually finding out what those fish are and what they look like is to get out there and go fishing. If you do go fishing, um, take some time, look after the fish and fish responsibly um, and after all, have fun. What have we got here with Dr. Dave?